Hi, it's Tom from Brain Schwartz, and I'm continuing my series on removing English ivy. You may have seen the video where I remove a large patch using a lawnmower, and where I use table salt and duct tape to kill strong, deep English ivy roots. But today I want to talk about what you do when you got vines growing up a tree. Welcome back to our subscribers. If you're not part of the family, you can join us by clicking on the green shorts icon that will appear in the bottom right hand corner throughout the video. It's not so much a problem when it's only this high. These are only about maybe 10 or 15 feet up this tree. I can cut them right here with these loppers and then peel them off uh, pretty easily. It gets to be a problem though when they climb higher on the tree because the higher up they go, the more attachment they have to the tree and the harder it gets to pull them off. Before we continue, I wanna let you in on a little secret. I actually made this video before, but it was too backlit for my liking. However, something a little crazy happened at the end and I thought you'd be amused to see it. So stay tuned to the end and I'll show you what went down. Or rather, who. What I like to do is pull the leaves off about a foot up from the bottom. And that exposes the vines. Then I can get in, either break them off or cut them off. And once that gap is created in the vine, it's gonna die above this point. You can see back here, we've got already got a pretty thick vine started here. I'm gently working the toe of my pruners underneath the vine to lift it off the bark so I can cut it. Once you got the vines off the tree, you want to deal with what's going below your cut and then out into the ground. And you can use the vine's strength against it. So what you want to do is basically grab the vine one at a time or a couple at a time and pull it out and away from the tree and pull it out of the ground. And once you clear it away from the tree, then you can use the large patch method to get the vines that are growing along the ground. But what do you do if the vines are really big? If you remember the video where I killed the vines with table salt and duct tape, some of the vines I had were probably about an inch and a quarter around. In fact, where they were attached to the tree above the cut, they're still there and it's been over a year. And there's no way that I could pull those down by hand even though they're strong vines and their attachment has somewhat loosened because they've died back. So I want to show you a simple trick to get those vines out of your trees using climbing rope and a pair of gloves. I've got a coil of about 40 or 45 feet of climbing rope as well as a pair of fingerless gloves to protect my hands. I've also got my loppers on hand in case I need them. You may recognize these dead vines at the bottom of the tree, but I don't think I showed you what's upstairs. Now leaving the vines up on the tree back here in the woods isn't that big a deal. You really can't see it from the house. They're, they're brown versus the green leaves of the ivy that were there when it was alive, and it's much more of a natural appearance. However, if this tree was in my front yard, I might be more concerned about aesthetics. The goal here today is just to show you how to get them out. And to do that, I'm gonna attach some rope to the end of the vine and then pull it off the tree. If I were to try and do that without the rope, I'm gonna lose the ability to pull it off the tree after about 10 or so feet up. By then, I'm gonna actually be pulling more down then out, and I'm just not gonna have any luck of, of getting those ten tendrils out of the bark. So, by attaching the rope to it, I'm able to pull away from the tree for a much longer period of time, and that's gonna help me get that vine detached. All right, so I've got a couple cameras set up here, so you can get a couple angles on this. Let's see how it works. 
I'm using my loppers to make a cut separating the vines into two groups in case I need to do two separate pulls. In the end, they all came down together. I'm looping my rope around the vine three times before tying off using a bowline. You could also use a square knot here. The nice thing about the loops is that as I pull down on the knot, it tightens the grip around the vine. Once the rope's attached, I'll walk away from the tree as far as possible. I'm about 40 feet away from the tree. Got my rope here and the vine is still pulling off. So I'm optimistic that I can get it to pull off pretty high up. Let's see how high it goes. I'm gonna reposition the camera here up the tree. If I can get in there. All right, so you're looking at the vine probably about 50 or 60 feet up in the tree. And I'm gonna see if I can get it to pull off that far up. It's already pulled off up to right about there, but I think I can get another 20 feet or so off. Let's see how this goes. Ah, the sound of success. Looks like I got about 40 or 50 feet of vine off the tree, which is exactly what I wanted to do. And the stragglers that remain are loosened. They'll eventually come down on their own. All right, so that completes our video series on removing English ivy. A nasty invasive that ain't from around these parts. If you haven't seen the other two videos on how to remove a large patch of English ivy or how to kill large rooted English ivy with table salt and duct tape, you can take a look at those videos. I'll put the links to those in the description below. So these three videos ought to allow you to handle English ivy in your yard in any of the forms you come across it. Now, I will say with one exception. If it's growing on your house, you may want to get an expert out to take a look at it. Sometimes the roots, the tendrils can actually get into the grout and it can be damaging to pull that stuff down. So before you tackle that, you might test a spot and see if you can pull it off. But if it looks at all like it's going to pull the grout out, call out an expert on that. Let me know in the comments below if you've had success using this technique. As always here at Green Shorts, our mission is to help you see green so you can be green. And save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for new DIY videos every Friday. Oh yeah, you're waiting on those bloopers. Your wait is over. Your wait so in the course of trying to pull the vines out of the tree, they got stuck. So folks, this may be as far as this one goes. I was really optimistic I could get it all the way down, but... It's going to take a little more time, I think. I got the crazy idea that because they were stuck, they would also hold my weight as I swung across the creek. Of course, there is one advantage to keeping this ivy here. You might want to listen for the telltale snap. <coughs> Maybe advantage wasn't the right word. Let's put this one in the lesson learned category. I got the phone out. But hey, the ivy's down. He's down. He's down. He's down.